So you're also providing them the value of social status and scarcity. It's a win-win for everybody. And you're gonna be able to generate a hell of a lot more clients and be a respected member of this organization. Let's get to the tactics. I'm gonna give you our top three joint venture ideas that have generated thousands of contacts and hundreds of clients for us over the years that you can apply in your business today. So the first one is a little bit creative. You may not have thought of this, but it is a giveaway. And I'm not talking about a fitness specific giveaway, which is a really popular play and a really popular campaign that a lot of fitness professionals run where they give away a free year of training and for opt-ins or whatever. I'm talking about a local business giveaway. So let me give you the backstory. So when COVID hit, all the local businesses in town were shut down or put harsh regulations on the way they were able to do business. A lot of businesses turtled up and decided that they were just going to roll over and die and wait for the government to tell them what to do. But we had the idea to bring all of these businesses together and help each other out. So what I did was I bought a $100 coupon from 10 different restaurants and chiropractors and massage therapists and local health-based businesses in my local area. We've got a nice little downtown here. So I spent a thousand dollars on local businesses and I created the small business stimulus package. Now what that was, was a gift basket with all of these gift cards valued at over a thousand dollars. I think it came out to closer to 2000 because we had a lot of businesses throw in a little bit of extra. But what I did was I hosted a giveaway. Now, really important is the way that this is put together. You're gonna to buy these gift cards, you're gonna assemble the package, so you're promoting or you're providing value to those businesses by just simply buying their product. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna ask these businesses that you're already providing value for, and you're gonna say, hey, we're gonna generate a ton of excitement and energy around this campaign, and all we ask is that you post three times sharing this giveaway to your social media list and email list. They're very likely to do it because I also promised them to share the contact list with them for all the opt-ins that we got. 10 businesses all have their own individual circle of influence. They all have their own customer lists. They all have their own email lists. And now I'm positioning myself to do all of the work to generate leads, share those leads with all of those businesses and use their contact list to generate interest. So 5,000 contacts generated to my email list from the contact list of other health focused local businesses that wanted to win a gift card to all of the local wellness services. These would be considered cold leads, but you add them to your email list and you're gonna nurture them through content emails and then offers that you're gonna send them over the long period of time. We've generated hundreds of clients from this very email list over the last couple of years. So the second way that you can generate a creative joint venture that again has generated hundreds of leads for us in the past years is to go to a local youth organization or a local charity organization that your target market are involved with. So for example, we train people over 40 that wanna lose fat, the typical word for that are soccer moms. So where do soccer moms hang out? Usually it's the soccer organization. So we found the biggest and most prominent soccer club in the area. We wrote them a giant check. Usually they have sponsorship packages that they send out and they say, if you give us thousand dollars, we'll put your logo on our jerseys or we'll put your logo on our website. All of the things that are in those organizations sponsorship packages that don't work. None of that stuff is ever going to generate you a client. So what you're going to do is you're going to make your own sponsorship proposal for the organization. Now to sweeten the deal, you're going to offer more money than they're asking. So if the offer is $1,000 for your logo on their jerseys, what you're going to do is you're going to offer double that with $2,000, but you're going to say, instead of our logos under jerseys, you can sell that to somebody else and make more money for your organization. But what I want are five emails to your list of 5,000 people. And in those emails, I'm gonna give an exclusive discount for members of your organization to my gym. Nobody else 
will have access to. So you're also providing them the value of social status and scarcity. It's a win-win for everybody. And you're going to be able to generate a hell of a lot more clients and be a respected member of this organization by being on their email list. What's really important about this is that you write the emails because if you trust somebody else to promote your business for you, probably going to get a pretty bad email. That should all be in the wording. You want to structure this sponsorship so that it is a win-win for the organization because you're providing an immense amount of value and cash, and you get to tap into their customer list as a result. The last creative joint venture that you can offer is a table setup exchange. So if you have a physical space, whether you're renting space in a current business or you've got your own space, you have real estate that other businesses would love to set up in. Think about a gym where hundreds of people walk through day in and day out. What businesses would love to plop themselves right in front of the door of that place and give away free samples or coupons or position themselves right in the middle of that foot traffic of hungry customers that want their product. Think of the local chiropractor or physical therapist or smoothie shop or supplement store that you could invite in and say, hey, we want you to set up a table and give away all of your products or whatever services to all of our customers in exchange for five emails promoting the fact that you're in our business and social media posts and whatever other circles of influence you feel like you could tap. But most businesses don't use email and marketing like savvy fitness marketers do like you watching this. They may value the foot traffic and they may say, well, why don't you set up a table? In exchange, they may invite you to set up a table in your business. But I'm telling you a better use of your time and currency is to instead ask for an email to their email list that you write or a co-promotion on their social media channels. You give them the physical real estate and you take their digital real estate in their email list or social media profiles. These are the creative ways that you can approach joint ventures with local youth organizations and local businesses. It starts with an understanding of where your target market is, where they're buying, and how you can use your value in all the different elements and position yourselves in front of them.